What a disgusting display of pride, effort, and urgency put on by the Phoenix Suns in their Game 6 blowout loss at home to the Nuggets that sent them packing their bags and heading to Cancun. This makes back-to-back -back seasons the Suns have lost embarrassing home blowout elimination games in the second round of the playoffs. And their future looks grim and bleak with the reports coming out that they're aggressively shopping CP3 and DeAndre Ayton and with Monty Williams' job up in the air. Where do they go from here? What up, family? Welcome back to the channel. You already know it's your boy Moose Talks Hoops. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and hit the like button. You already know it's a lot of things in this world that cost, but hitting the like button ain't one of them. Now, if y'all think Matt Ishby has spent billions of dollars on this organization to sit back and watch that sad excuse of a team play basketball, you got another thing coming. Reports are coming out now that the Phoenix Suns are aggressively shopping CP3, who can't fight an injury bug and can't stay healthy in the playoffs, and DeAndre Ayton, who did not play last night due to a rib contusion injury, but it was like he wasn't there the entire series. Devin Booker was a no-show in back-to-back -back elimination games for the Suns at home, and Monty Williams could be cleaning out his office by Monday. Where do the Phoenix Suns go from here? Everybody had them as title contenders once the Kevin Durant trade was made. It's obvious. I don't know if it's due to the Achilles injury, age, attrition, but Kevin Durant cannot carry you to the promised land. He's proven that in Brooklyn, and he's proving that in Phoenix. Absolutely disgusting. Now, your fans can live with you losing at home, being a close game, being, being a competitive game, being a game where you, just, you guys just couldn't make shots. But for the game to be over by halftime, to be down 30, giving up 81 points in one half? There's no excuse for that. There's no excuse for that at all. Two years in a row, this team showed you that they lack the desire and the heart needed to win. They have no winners on this roster. Who's a winner on this roster? CP3, the quote-unquote point guard, what has he proven other than the fact that he can't stay healthy in the playoffs? Kevin Durant, the man that choked a 3-1 lead to the Warriors, then joined them, couldn't get the job done in Brooklyn with James Harden and Kyrie, forced his way to the Suns and he thought he was going to skip and hop to another easy championship? Oh no, my friend. You're sadly mistaken. And don't look now, but the Phoenix Suns have little to no draft capital. Most of their future first round picks up until 2029 have been shipped to Brooklyn in the Kevin Durant deal. You got Devin Booker, who was scorching hot this entire playoffs, and then picks an elimination game at home to come out there to stink up the joint. A day after everybody was starting to put you into a superstar conversation. The Phoenix Suns are an absolute train wreck. Absolute train wreck. Unbelievable. 
Unbelievable. But you know what? I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. Because you got to look at the character of these players. Monty Williams might be fired or he might leave to become the coach of the Milwaukee Bucks. But this is not on Monty Williams, man. This is all about pride. It's all about effort. And it's about urgency. You can't coach that. It's either in you as a man or it's not. And y'all can't come out here in an elimination game at home in back-to-back -back years and have campaign as your leading scorer while you're getting blown out by 30. Disgusting. That's all I got on this for now. It's going to be a long, nasty summer for the Phoenix Suns and especially for Kevin Durant. And stay tuned because I got some smoke for Kevin Durant. Once again, y'all already know it's Moose Talks Hoops. Like I always say, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell and hit the like button. You already know. It's a lot of things in this world that cost, but hitting the like button ain't one of them. I'm about to hear for now, man. Get in the comment box, share the video. I'll see y'all there.